okay? It's courageous uh, communication, uh, just being uh, who you are. Is there any point in the MCC uh, competency that you sent to me that maybe the session does not allow you to make it happen? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. then they can go back to read more on that one. Sure, so you are um, alluding to a, a document printed by the ICF, in fact, uh, which uh, uh, lists uh, 11 core competencies of the ICF, uh, and for each competency, uh, what is the expectations of the coaches mm -hmm. at the three level, ACC, BCC, MCC. And uh, so the first competency is ethics and standards. Uh, that's a lot about um, confidentiality and respecting uh, the client as a whole. The second part is establishing the coaching agreement. Okay, so that one we covered a lot. We covered, yeah. we covered a lot and we could have been, uh, I, I think I could have done a lot better job actually uh, going further. You see, because the real topic for you was never listening skills and questioning skills. That, that was important, but uh, the tip of the iceberg, what was really more important is great, mm. give a great experience. Mm. If I had done a good contracted job, it would have happened in the first three minutes. Instead, it came like 15 minutes into the conversation. Your no, first I, I disagree with you. Mm -hmm. I, I think you did and we like good, it. good <laughs> job on that one. No, I, I, because it's, this is from my experience, is probably maybe five or six sessions that the real agenda is of the iceberg. So uh, I would say that after 10 minutes, right? Yes. 10, 15 minutes, 10, 15. I, I discovered that I, I thought it's quite fast for me, you know, because from my experience, uh, the real issue is not quite easy, easily come out. So this part is, this is, will not be realistic to say that your first three minutes will, will turn, you know, listening and questioning clarity to be greater experience. I don't think it's, it will be realistic. Because I thought about this before this session, yes. you know, listening and questioning, but it did not just pick it to, okay, what I really need to create experience mm -hmm. in the coaching moment. So. Uh, you, you did great on that one, yeah. Okay, yeah. thanks. Uh, Establishing trust and intimacy with the client is a third competency. So I guess this we yes, did. Yes. Uh, trust is obvious, you tell me no, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy you tell it to me because you're telling me you're in charge, mm -hmm. which is my goal. I guess this is a symptom of trust. Uh, yes, uh, yes. And it's important uh, we role model it in the coaching session because you find out uh, you can do even more probably to, to accelerate build up of trust for your clients. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and this session is uh, another example where um, we, we, we make it happen. Now. Uh, coaching presence uh, is a fourth uh, competency and that's a lot about being in the now, mm -hmm. which is one of your discoveries, be in the now. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, be in the now. I guess uh, I, I believe I was totally in the now. Yes, yes, you were. I was looking at everything. Mm, mm, mm. And this is part of the non-verbal reading, also, yeah. right? This competency. And, and when Achan Kensak was telling about uh, him being in the car Thursday morning and driving and thinking about uh, uh, his great moments and crying, and, and there were there was a bit of moist in your eyes mm -hmm. because you were reliving the experience. Mm -hmm. like, we don't want to miss that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the eyes, moist in the eyes. You, uh, you should ask more questions, then I will cry, cry, cry. Yes, uh, we, uh, we, we, we should do not that. do that. Oh, we, uh, absolutely, we, we should do that. Yeah. Absolutely, uh, uh, we're not in therapeutic mode, uh, so we don't go in the past, we're not qualified for that. Uh, but, but we stay with the emotion, they are powerful. Um, and uh, in my experience, uh, yeah, when my uh, clients cry, and it's mostly men, and it's mostly, mostly big guys who cry in my sessions. Cry in a positive sense or, I mean, tears of joy or tears of sadness? Uh, 
mostly uh, tears of frustration. Tea, yeah, tears of frustration. Yes. Uh, no, but it's not. It was not my case. Yeah, yeah no, for you it's a uh, tears tea of, of joy, uh, joy yeah. and uh, and success. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, but I'm wondering if in the real situation, what what would I do? You know, I probably hold back. I just even in in the case that Koshi has a tear of joy. I may not want to, you know, push it, you know. Yeah. It's a bit awkward situation for me as a coach if I try to push them, you know. Unless the, the clients, the coach he just came out by himself or herself because of the tear of joy. There, there may be a cultural aspect, uh, mm -hmm. cultural sensitivity to it, of course, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I try to think of the experience that is there any my Koshi's, you know, tears of frustration I, 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 I observe, yeah, from time to time, but tears of joy in the coaching session, yeah, not Never thought, never, never happened. It, but almost, yes, almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And the importance. Uh, sorry, I interrupted you. No, no, no. Go ahead. The, the, uh, when when, peop, when uh, we have emotions, uh, it means something is happening at a deep level in us, uh, and that is gold for coaching. Uh, and and so we don't want to disrupt. So we give space. Uh, we give time. We. Don't uh, we, we just l l let the coachy decide what he or she wants to do with his or her emotions? But but but, but we don't. We must not. We must not uh, uh, jump onto something else just for our comfort. <coughs> it's okay. okay to be uncomfortable as long as uh, the coachy uh, do do the, the the job right. And so emotions are. Oh, great. So we, we don't mm -hmm. want to... Um, Ex you mean the ac is accept is... is yeah. yeah. And, and in fact, what, what I, I learned is... Um, uh, f first, uh, little tips are we can thank the coachy for the, the trust of sharing the emotions with us. We, are, we, we can say we are touched. If we are, we are touched. That there is this... Um, lovely connection between the two of us uh, that you can share your emotions uh, mm -hmm. and we can say we feel for them uh, uh, and if if it sounds feasible we can say uh, wh what are you learning from uh, this great emotion you've been through if it feels tactful at that moment or after at that, that, that moment or okay. at that moment because after uh, Many more things happen in the brain or the mind or heart of the coachee, and he, yeah, it, it's able to stay, stay with it in the moment. Uh, okay. And, and this is building trust a lot. Huh? Uh, when uh, when a moment like that shows, it means there is good trust. And if we make a good job of exploiting the moment for learning, wow, then the strength, uh, the trust accelerates. Uh, okay. Coaching presence, uh, uh, then active listening. <coughs> we talked about that. It's the fifth ICF competency. Active listening, listening for everything, not mm -hmm. just the words. Huh? Okay. Uh, powerful questioning. Okay. Today I don't do powerful uh, questioning. Uh, uh, powerful questioning is um, invitation to. Uh, go deeper or, or elevate the level of thinking and uh, the intention of Kun Kang Sak for the short time we had today was to come to an action plan. If we did not have this end goal, if it would have been only an exploration with no <coughs> destination, then I would have uh, asked powerful question, we say on the who. Uh, we were focused on the what and the how because the uh, goal ne uh, expressed was uh, action plan, right? Mm -hmm. If we had no goal, I would have asked question on the who instead of the what and the how. Who do you need to be to um, 
create the greatest experience possible. Huh? So we would have looked at deep inside you, uh, what you can leverage, uh, what are the gifts you have inside you that you can uh, use more. That would have been much deeper coaching, not in the short time frame today with the goal, right? So, okay. so powerful questioning, today no one. No powerful questioning. Right, it was mostly reflecting. The this, this one is, what, what, what did they say in this context, the ah. MCC? So, so it, they say the first level of COCHI uh, accreditation by the ICF is ACC, Associate uh, Certified Coach. They say basically you coach on the what, what needs to be done uh -huh. to secure the success. PCC, Professional uh, Certified Coach, they say you coach on the how, uh, mm -hmm. going a bit deeper and mastery level, uh, MCC, you coach on the who. Who is the person who does this, and who is the person who wants to do that, and why? What do, uh, how do, does the who, the, the, the whole person, mm -hmm. needs to grow, learn, adapt, uh, evolve, to go where the person wants to. So, so it's much deeper. I see. Not, not in a one session uh, demo with 30, 40, 40 minutes. Okay. Uh, with the goal on action. Okay. Yeah. And uh, then we've got um, we've got uh, direct communication. So that's just being totally honest, open, candid. Don't say when we don't know. Say when we do a mistake. Uh, yeah, you did that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So to totally transparent and direct. Huh? Uh, creating awareness. Um, that's uh, uh, eight competency, creating awareness, so creating, uh, making sure there are moments where you gain awareness. Mm -hmm. So You did that? Okay. Uh, 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 a few times. Uh, and then uh, number nine competency, designing action, have an action plan. So you, you did it uh, because you are a coach, you, you are accountable for making it, so there's no need too much. Uh, mm -hmm. Today, yeah, with you, and then planning and goal setting. That's going more into yeah. detail. So we do not don't do today mm -hmm. uh, uh, because you, you can do that. Uh. And then the eleventh competency is managing progress and accountability. So that will be um, oh, that's checking ongoing. in with you later on how you're progressing, what you're learning as you are experimenting. And uh, okay, okay, it's a good way for me to learn this eleventh competency. Mm. And now, thank you, Chang <laughs> ah, Fong. Thank you very much uh, for the chance. Uh, yeah. So happy uh, to yes. have this moment. Uh. So I hope uh, today we will we learn a lot from you know demonstration of the coaching, and the ICF eleven competency in action of the MCC level. Thank you, Kun Chang Fong. Thank you very much. Thank you very really much. Yeah. And actually, I got uh, good ideas from this session as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great.